Hey Dave, did you get the email about the funny cats I sent? What? What email? The funny cats! Oh. Oh. Ken, what's going on with the mail server again? Oh, I should have used HipChat. It's a collaborative tool to get you and your team to be more productive. Set up a room and you can do I am. It'll save your history for when someone says, huh, you didn't say that. You can do video and audio chats and you can share your screen and even animated GIFs. Ow. We've been using it around the Geek Beat offices, and I can expect everyone to always be paying attention because you can access it anywhere, anytime. iOS, Android, Windows, they Linux. don't call it hip chat for nothing. So says the hipster. Get more productive with your team in seconds. Try HipChat Plus free. No credit card required. HipChat.com slash GeekBeat. Sign up, click on Start Chatting, then invite a few team members and try it free for 30 days. And if you're in the first 100 signups, HipChat is going to extend your 30-day free trial to 90 days. HipChat.com slash GeekBeat. You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video. And by Utech, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome back to our final, Not no, final. second to final continuing coverage of CES 2015. I'm John P. I'm Callie Lewis. And this is, we're not ready to get to them yet. Oh. Oh, come on. Because I'm ready. this is, you realize we have just gone for four days. I know. You and I have not I know, actually this is the first hosted time. together. Hi, John. I missed you. Hi, did you have a did you have a good show or what? I had a wonderful show. Wonderful. The uh, chat the room chat has room been with has us been the whole going time. Crazy. But I'm gonna get it started right now with the most boring question that everybody always asks us every year. You all three know what it's gonna be. What's your favorite thing from CES? You know, that is the question, isn't it? Like, as you roam the floor, people are always like, oh, what's the favorite thing? What's your favorite thing you've seen? It's a difficult thing to answer, is it not? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to take a little twist on this. And oh. I'm going to say the favorite thing or the thing I want to take home most from CES is the, uh, the QNX demo car, uh, the QNX demo car. That uh, not only is it a Maserati, but they <laughs> <laughs> You know, which is great. Yeah. Uh, but they filled that thing with so much tech. There's cameras in the side view mirrors, in the rear view mirror, in the dashboard, in the back, and it all works together. Um, you know, they showed how you can be driving down the street and uh, it'll read the speed limit signs and then throw it up onto the dashboard so you always know what the speed limit is. I mean, yeah, you might, you know, not be able to give that excuse. It's like, oh, I didn't see this, uh, the speed limit sign, officer. But it's a handy feature. <laughs> Plus, you're in a Maserati. Do you care what the speed limit is? <laughs> exactly. Is. And uh, it also has uh, little warning lights at the base of the windshield, and uh, it can detect uh, if there's going to be an incoming collision, or if uh, you need to make a turn left. It integrates with the maps and the GPS system, so that you know uh, if you need to make a left turn, it starts off green and then turns to uh, yellow and orange as you get closer to the turn. So you always have that contextual knowledge. That's, That's very cool. Uh, Michael H. in the chat room said he liked the segment about the CEA. There have been a couple of other things. Don't worry, we actually have another segment coming up right after this. We with do. Gary. Gary's going to be here. Don't Gary worry, Shapiro. Gary will be back. Uh, anyway, Phil. Phil. What was your... You know, it, I say the same thing every year, uh -huh. and I never get to take this home. The TV is just always floor me. The what? The iPhone, the cases. iPhone cases. I love the iPhone cases. <laughs> no, the, the TVs just floor me every year because I don't own anything anywhere near that nice. I might never. And to see a TV that's you know, paper that thin, thick, it's ridiculous. Like pasted on the wall. Yeah. Did and you did you see, see the 8Ks? Sam, oh. The SUHD yes. TV is just, I mean, you stand there and you just kind of don't believe it at first. <laughs> right. it's, it's that vibrant. And if you get close, you can still see pixels. But, I mean, from a normal viewing angle, it's probably the most beautiful thing I've ever seen except for John. Oh, right. well, there is that. There is that. <laughs> what about you, John? I don't have a good answer, but I'm going to give you an honest answer. Okay. Phil's beard. It, Phil's well, beard. Be yeah, Phil's beard. There, it is. Phil's beard is like, that's, that's well, the that overarching the thing, thing for the I year. Saw but, you know. Immediately when I walked into this booth, Phil was here, and I yeah. was like, <gasps> Epic man beard. beard. Epic man beard. <laughs> Very nice beard. I can't do that, you know, so that makes me a little jealous. I'm not going to lie. Super ultra. A bit of a man crush. <laughs> we actually, we thought about having, I don't know what you guys think about this, but there are a lot of beards around here this year. Oh, yeah. We thought about having a panel only on beards. A beard panel. How, 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 beard. To, how to, 
uh, comb your beard and keep it nice and luxurious and glossy. I'm yeah. sure there are some gadgets what, out there for that. It's what not to, easy. What to I put in imagine. your beard, you what know, to, to keep it beard? nice and silky smooth. Whether you this takes a lot of work. You guys don't know. Uh, no, I, I can only imagine. I don't know because I can't do it. I'm glad I don't know. <laughs> but back to my very bad answer. <laughs> uh... The Eco Ricos. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, people are wow. going to think this is like some kind of cop out or something. We saw all <laughs> kinds of cool stuff, and I don't want anybody to get me wrong. But, you know, Eco Rico sponsored the show this year, and they gave us a bunch of Eco Ricos to use. And I'm going to be totally, completely honest with everybody here. So, at first, what I thought was, I thought, um, well, that'll be novel. You know, we'll have all these Eco Ricos around and people will play with them because we had one in our studio right. and everybody wanted to play with it. And we put like a hundred miles on it in the studio yep. just doing laps. <laughs> yep. But I live three miles from the office. Right. Uh, we've had that thing for like a year, not maybe not quite, but well, we no, had it for a long, long. Yeah. six months. Yeah. I've never once ridden it from home to the office. And neither have I. And I, I and was you're thinking, even closer. I was thinking, why haven't I? Because when we're here at CES, we've been riding it around, as you can see, oh, all you over CES, all over Vegas, in and out between the hotels. And then we only had to, to bail dinner. you out of jail twice. Too. That's right. That's true. But here's the thing. The thing is, I, I thought we were going to use it as a novelty. I thought we were going to put Phil on it, and then we we're all going to laugh about him having a good time, like actually liking it. And what ended up happening was something completely unexpected. We buy everybody monorail passes. We stay in a hotel on the monorail so that we can quickly and efficiently get there. I have not been on the monorail since like the second day we right. were here. As soon as we got the Eco Ricos up and charged and ready to go, we just haven't even used our monorail pro We passes. were like, you know, why would I go? I can actually, and I tweeted this thing. You know, yes. I tweet. I, I was in my hotel room and I took a picture of myself with the thing. I said, I'm going now. And then when I got here, I tweeted. It was 16 minutes from inside my hotel room mm -hmm. to here, including actually taking selfies and posting them <laughs> yeah. and doing Google Maps. I could have done it in like 12 minutes. And, and watching you guys get your little gang together when it's time to go home for the day, it's so cute. <laughs> they've got leather jackets on it. They've got cuts, <laughs> really. <And> <laughs> President, vice pres. Geek B, yeah. you know, skull and crossbones. But you guys but, are having so much fun doing it. It's fun to watch. Uh, the problem is, you know, that it's not really a problem, but the funny thing is for me, that is what has defined my experience this year, right. and, and it spoiled the hell out of me. It really did. And, you know, actually, when the Eco Rico guys were up here, I was telling them it's not fair because we have a couple of new team members who haven't been to CES, and we were sitting there all year yeah. long telling them, guys, you're going to be in for it. You're going to hurt. You're going to be miserable. You're going to have this and that and happen. And they're zipping around it. And they're just having fun. And we're like, wait, this is not even fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have to pay their dues. Okay, so uh, I'm sorry that was not really. I didn't mean that to be a cop out, but it's just it's it's what it, it because is. Because it's what, had what the has most impacted impact me you. this year. So how about you? What what do you think about CES? Well, I've seen a lot of great stuff. Um, obviously, this year it. We'll talk about all of this, but you know, fitness and uh, and wearables were a big thing connected devices. Um, you know. I didn't really see a whole lot of robots, unfortunately. We did see some cool um, iterations in the robot uh, market. Uh, R2-D2 was rolling around. You're right, Dave Curley. Uh, I think I don't think that they were representing anything here. They were just a couple guys who built it. Were, if you had, had one, it. wouldn't you take it I out? Would. Mm, yeah. I would. Of course, of my course pet you R2 would. Yeah. Have I mentioned my pet R2-D2 robot? <laughs> <laughs> so that was pretty cool, actually. Um, I've seen some really cool things. I think uh, one of the coolest things I'm anxious to try is the Hexo uh, drone, the mm -hmm. Hexo Plus drone. Did you guys see that? Did you, John? I was standing right over there. While no, I, no, oh, no, that's no, not, no, no. Which one are you talking about? The Hexo drone. It's, um, it actually has six oh, propellers uh -huh. as opposed to four propellers like most of them. That'll make it more stable. Right? And uh, it looks fantastic freaking amazing and what really killed it for me was the app that goes along with it yeah but how much does it cost who's they it is don't, that a, they don't have a, they don't it? have a price yet yeah no, don't, don't that's what yeah. CES yeah. Yeah. is all about no i mean there's octocopters <laughs> there's hexcopters there's a lot i've seen a lot of those things uh, yeah but the problem is the quadcopters are cheap right the 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 more you add the the more the price goes up so sure. it sounds like it could be awesome but right. I, but the question is can they keep it in a, I think an affordable for me, price for range? me the practicality of of my 
for me, my favorite things here were, was all kind of practical because if you look at the quadcopters and the drones um, world, it's the app that killed it for me because it was mm -hmm. literally all you had to do was, it was a storyboard um, of, of what you want. So it had follow me technology and you said, okay, I want you to start here, then I want you to zoom out, then I want you to go over there and then zoom in. And it was all like picture based and very super easy. Simple. Super simple, that's what we simple. need, yeah. So it was really, really cool. Anybody um, could fly it. Yeah, it, it seemed to be, you yeah. know, they unfortunately couldn't try it myself, yeah. but so that was one of my favorite parts. Huh, cool. Now, there was a slash interview. Oh, uh, actually, yeah, how did I forget that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, that was very I unexpected. Know, at the Marshall booth, Slash was on yeah, over there. And I'm sitting here like, oh. And he's like, to... oh, <laughs> I forget. That guy, about it was that. in a little band a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why, but they let me interview Slash. So uh, how you was guys that? will have to tell me. I, uh, I thought it was cool. I, I had a good time with it. Um, Slash was nice. He was nice to me. You know, some one of the things I was a little worried about was I was worried that we would uh, go over there and start chatting with him and he'd be really cold or aloof or uh, I don't know. I don't, he doesn't know me and I don't know him, right? So uh, uh, he showed up and, and you made we him laugh. We weren't going to have much. I made him laugh a couple times. Nice. Yeah, we, we, we had a. We shared a few jokes, so good job. Um, we, you know, what happened was he came down and, and he and I went back uh, for for a minute or two and talked about what we were going to talk about a little bit, and then we came out, and we did the interview, and then that was it. But there was awesome. a huge crowd of people. You would ask me why why are you holding two microphones? Right. <laughs> because what happened was, the crowd was of people this, needed to hear too. Yeah, there was a it's huge crowd, and they wanted to hear. So that was not something I was prepared for. I showed up. They were like, by the way can you also hold this other mic because there's going to be like people listening. I was like, okay. So what happened was I turned into not only the interviewer, but like the MC, if you will. Oh. So, I mean, he, Slash and I had walked in the back and we talked a little and then I walked you, you out and I grabbed the mic. You see how that Slash and I? Yeah, me like, and Slash. You know. You're not, you're not calling him Saul. You're not yeah, that close yet. Yeah, me and Saul, yet. you yeah. know. Here, here's your most important question of CES. Yeah. What is your favorite Guns N' Roses song? Oh, you better get this. Yeah. Oh, I just love them all. Oh. <laughs> now that's a cop out. That probably is. <laughs> Actually, it probably does have to be Paradise City. I mean, I... Is that that's like or the Velvet most Revolver? I can go newer. I can well, yeah. Or no. the selfie song. He's I've got, got one he's, I loved. <laughs> he's 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 one of the most talented musicians ever. It was funny because I asked him what were you listening to on the way over here, and he said he was listening to like blues. Yeah. On the way over, and I told him I told him I had just listened to uh, she thinks my tractor's sexy. <laughs> And I said, that wasn't a very good song for picking up the chicks, was it? John, and he said, no. And John, he laughed. John, did he you, laughed. Did you really? I asked him if he liked country music. He said, not so much the new stuff. It's too poppy for him. Oh, okay. That's too fair. What, what about you? Since we're on the topic of music, what's your... Um, are we talking about, still talking about Best Guys and Roses? Or? I, 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 no, I know any what, music of choice at the moment. Um, uh, I, I'm really a big techno fan, so I'm still listening to a lot of Daft Punk. Um, but for me, the uh, the song of CES is uh, Uptown Funk. There you Bruno go. Mars. I've been hearing that everywhere, and even now, uh, every time I hear it, I still get like, and it just puts me in a great mood. Yeah. Nice. All right, so wearables. Uh, that was one of the big things here at CES, fitness and wearables. Any standouts for you guys? The why things or with things to me. Uh, oh, with things, yeah, that actually kind of says yeah. differently. Yeah. No, I asked them specifically. Did you? It's, it's why things. Oh, why it's things. Why no, no, it's with things now. No, it wait, started what? as it started as why <laughs> things. Sorry, sorry. She's got Here's a smile the story. That it seems <laughs> yeah. It started as why things because it was like Wi-Fi things. Right. But oh. they changed it and now it's with things. All right, okay. With things. So yeah. that one was That's pretty That's been cool. one. The Garmin watch. Uh, the Garmin. A lot of people are really into. Yeah. The, the Garmin's actually had a lot of capability, and uh, they are going in different directions than most smartwatches or connected devices mm -hmm. out there. Can I say I'm not, I'm not happy with any of them? It's still why way not? early, yeah. I'm not happy with yeah. any of them. I'll tell you why not, because my smart devices, and, and, my, and even with everything we've, we've got, I, I, mine is still, my favorite is still the Galaxy uh, Fit, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it matches with my phone and because it's really slim factor and it does exactly what I need but it doesn't what do what I want and what I want 
is I want my smart device to be integrated with my home automation and my car and my everything. When I walk to my car, I want my door to unlock because it knows it's me. Right. I want We're my, getting there. We're I getting actually there. actually my they house have, to do. do that. Audi have yeah. that on yep. display here. Yes. Yeah, but where's the damn watch? It's not, I mean, we where's saw everything? the watch. Every, that, that was kind of the, the, that's funny, like the big scoop of, yeah. of CES, and not to toot our own horn, but our own Alex Toby guy, yes. was there's this LG watch from Audi and, and floating which around running it. WebOS, which yeah. is nuts. <laughs> um, it, that's in conjunction with an Android watch that they have with, you know, watch face, and, and they are absolutely building that in the car. But I can't get one. You need an Audi. <laughs> I also need my house to be connected. And so what, what I was speaking of a totally different uh, kind of subject mm -hmm. on the home automation front, I'm not happy at all with home automation because mm -hmm. right. I'm seeing the exact same stuff, which I'm, I'm happy that we've got stuff, but I'm not happy with the state of it because we still have Zigbee, we have Z-Way, we have yep. proprietary they don't talk together. Nobody talks together. It's You've got very, Nest very and Samsung and Smart Things, right. and, and everybody says, we're open, we're completely open. No, so is not. everybody else. It's <laughs> not smart. Yeah. Our devices and our homes are not smart. We I'll call them smart, but they're not smart. I'll yeah, that's, that's the worst tag. It's like, you know, you just put smart yeah. in front of anything. It's yeah. like, yeah. no, that's not good enough. You have to show me what it can really do. My smart Mountain Dew is just <laughs> it's amazing. I know. Actually, one thing that was very smart uh, that is not being touted as smart or something that should have been done a long time ago. Did you see Tilt's reversible USB cable? Finally, finally. Oh, and I did not. Gee, you have it in your bag. Uh, Wait, I can plug it in either way? You can plug How's it in possible? any way. It doesn't matter but what the, the device does. But the plug itself has got a weird shape. How does the cable work like that? It, it's, it's it just, just does? They they fixed it. Wow, did they And they uh, did, did they not fix it, it John P. style. <laughs> no, <laughs> that they? was actually done. Th that It has been invented, but they just basically made they it. They made it. They made okay. it good. So right? I can have this now? I don't need a new device? No, you don't need a new device. It's just a cable it's that magic. works whichever way, that, so you don't have to turn it that in. That pisses me off. I'm that not going to really lie. I get pissed. I get actually <laughs> angry I trying like, to push that. I'm like, <laughs> uh, And then and it won't geeks. go the other way. And, you won't, and you're like, well, how can it not go both ways? It's so it's, it has to go one of the ways, and it won't go either way. So I, I actually have to say that's one of my very favorite things. Okay. And it's a USB charger cable. <laughs> I mean, it's a cable. cable. It's, like, ridiculous. I mean, that should be a lesson ben for all these says, companies here, right? Ben yes. says type C makes me all warm and fuzzy. So, yeah, we <laughs> right. got the new, you know. For all the, the future tech we have yes. here, it's a little thing like plugging a cable in that makes us the most happy exactly. out of this show. Why is that? We're just, are we because also... Because we want practice. We do it Sam, every are you day. Just, are you immune... To all this, all of this, are you immune to it? And now it's just it's a tiny little things that make a difference. Um, yeah, I mean, there, there's definitely that aspect of it because you know, when I'm at work and I'm testing or reviewing a phone, you know, I'm plugging the device in 15, 25 times like every hour, and yeah. it's just like every time I got to switch and try it again and try right. it again, and it's like, come on, there's got to be a better way. And you know, as we see, there is. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well. Uh, I think we had a lot of probably favorites and a lot of exciting things. Uh, you guys will be able to see all of our coverage here at CES at geekbeat.tv slash CES live. Uh, that, I think probably all that stuff will be continuing to go up throughout the next week. Yeah. So stay tuned to that. And if you didn't uh, enter to win all the giveaways, $10,000 worth of giveaways at geekbeat.tv slash giveaways. Yep, exactly. Okay, boys, everyone and ladies, Final thoughts before we wrap this up. Any big, just earth-shattering things you want to say about CES this year? Wow, don't put any Keeping pressure in mind, on Sam here. Wow. Come Keeping on. Keeping in mind that the CEO of the CEA is sitting over right, behind you. Right, right. All right, so i gotta, uh, I got to make this quick. Um, yeah, uh, I just want to uh, – my favorite thing is just having just Wi-Fi and everything. People are doing it. They're thinking about it. And, you know, that shows that they're coming. And then the other thing is drones. Everyone's got a smartphone. That's your most important product. But everyone in the future, they're going to have a drone following behind them, recording them, carrying their bags, everything. So I, that's what I really want to see is, you know, everyone has that personal drone that is flying behind them like a little buddy. Wow, that is scary <laughs> like to me. Like a little buddy. Phil? Two things. One is 
it's so hard for companies to get our attentions when we're in the office. I think we're all checking email, we're all yeah. doing life stuff, but we're here, we're focused on it. So they get a few minutes of our time that they might not normally get. And I think that's still super important. Never mind all the trade shows or debt stories. I just don't believe that for a second. So that's why I'm happy to be here and not sleep for the better part of a week to right. give them time they might not otherwise get. But the and, other and thing, to see, go ahead. No, 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 I'll, go ahead. I'll have my yeah. time. I'll no, have okay. my time. The other thing is uh, <laughs> to see you guys, of course, but to see all the other people on the floor, the people who come to all of our sites and don't, you know, you Yes. We tend to forget that there are actual human beings out there reading about this stuff, which makes it twice as important. So it's not just important to us, it's important to them too. And we get to do that at trade shows like that. And I, I love it. Callie? Well, I was going to kind of say the same thing. You know, I, I really enjoy getting to see people, um, viewers, uh, get to meet everybody face to face. And also, you hear the big stories out of CES are often uh, big companies like Samsung and Philips and you know Toshiba and stuff and, and um, the car manufacturers that were making a big splash this year. And, and that's awesome and they have a lot of weight behind them to be able to pull off some really cool stuff. I love about CES getting to see the little guys. That's one of my favorite things is really being able to see the innovative stuff that comes out of the small companies um, because that often pushes the big companies to think a little bit more. So I, that's that's kind of my favorite thing about CES, yeah. I'd say. All right, I just have two things to share with you guys about CES. Real uh, sugar Mountain Dew? Yeah, I do have real sugar throwback Mountain Dew, but two things I would like to just sum up with are number one, Slash. That's true. <laughs> number two, Phil's beard. <laughs> So, <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for watching all of our continuing coverage. Do not go anywhere yet. We're wrapping up this panel, but we have one more special thing to come. So, for Sam and for Phil, oh, so nice. And for Callie and for me, don't, thank you. Please, please don't. No, you, pet my you, it's not so good. <laughs> thank you and hang in there. You guys have a great rest of the year. We'll see you later. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>